मेरे ताजे शरीयत मुहदीस कभी मेरे ताजे शरीयत मुहदीस कभी मेरे ताजे शरीयत मुहदीस कभी हजरत सैयद अबू हामिद अल कज़मीनी رضی الله عنه कोट्स इन हिज किताब मुफीदुल इल्म He quotes Mufidul Ulum, sorry, Mufidul Ulum, the virtues and the benefits of knowledge, okay, of the different kinds of knowledge, the sciences of knowledge. He quotes Hazrat Sayyid Abu Hamid Al Kazmini radiallahu anhu. He says that once there was a person that went on a long, long journey, lengthy journey, and on this journey he took his son with him. He took his son with him, and whilst they were on the journey, this man died. This man died. Muhammad Tazwini radiallahu anhu is reporting this. He says this man passed away. He died. When he died, his head and his face changed form from that of a human, and it resembled a khazir. What did he resemble? The khazir, the swine. While on this journey, after he died, his head resembled a swine. His face resembled a swine. So his young son who was with him was distressed when he saw this, and he began to weep when he saw the condition of his father. Obviously, people are. I'm going to take my father back home. What are people going to see? What is his? What are they going to say? What is going to be his hal? And if this happened to him in the dunya, then what's going to happen to him afterwards? So the son was distressed. And in that distress, he began to weep, and he raised his hands towards the sky, and he begged in the court of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala for his father's forgiveness. That is why the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "One of the best things you can leave behind is a pious child. One of the best things you can leave behind is a pious child. That after you leave, he will raise his hands and make you up. That is the best investment. Today we invest in everything else." Invest in the deen of your child. Invest in the deen of your child more than you invest in the dunya of your children. So he says, Imam Al Qadri says, this boy raises his hands to the sky and he makes du'a in the court of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and he cries, he's lamenting and he's weeping for the forgiveness of his father, and he continues to weep and continues to make du'a because he does not know what will be the condition of his father, and he weeps and he makes du'a and he weeps and he makes du'a. And he weeps so much, making du'a so deeply that he falls asleep in the sleep. Then he falls asleep, he continuously making du'a. And when he falls asleep, he sees a dream. And in the dream, he hears a voice. And in the voice, and the voice says to him that your father used to charge people interest, riba. <laughs> your father. He used to charge people interest. He used to take usually. He used to take riba. Okay. He used to charge people interest. And this is why his face has become like this. But he is fortunate that Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has just made shafaat for him. Wow. Wow. Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam has just interceded on his behalf. And the reason for this is that yes, he used to do wrong, but there was one beautiful habit that he had. That whenever he heard the name Muhammad, he would say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Whenever he heard the name of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he would recite the Rud. And because of that, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam interceded for him, and we have turned his face back to as it should. Firstly, it doesn't mean people can miss. Some people take. Something to mean what they want it to mean a lot of times. <coughs> oh, that means we can do what we want. They just read the Quran. Oh, no, 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 no. We can do what we want. No, mm -hmm. that there is detrimental when you do. Then I will do Quran, and then I will do this. Like you say, when you make wudu, your wudu washes away all the sins of the body. I will do Quran the whole day, and then I will go to make wudu. <laughs> Sorry, so it won't work. It wouldn't work because this is mocking the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. 
this is an example being given to show the virtue of the vision. That that man could have made sincere toba before his death. But his toba was only accepted for two reasons. Solely because of the, primarily because of the shafaat of Rasulullah. And why he got that shafaat? Because of the barakat of the root and the dua of his child. <laughs> मेरे ताजे शरीयत मोहदीस कबीर मेरे ताजे शरीयत मोहदीस कबीर